Okay. So, um, so the Nevity has just told Khan that um, his magical stone is going to kill him. And then Khan, like, eats a piece of food, but he, like, it goes, goes down to the bottom of his stomach like a lump of lead. Well, this one is... Um... Inochi o bawareru madoseki ga o ore o yatsu yatsu tsu te koto. Ah, that's actually says korosu. Korosu. Korosu te koto. Do you want me to read the whole paragraph? It's whatever you feel more comfortable about doing. You could do the okay, sentence so... or paragraph. Here it say, Inochi o bawareru. Bawareru is ubareru, ubawareru. Ubao to ubawareru. Is that to nod it? Um, to ubao. Ubao is to steal. To steal, to steal a life. So. Madoseki ga. Ore o koros te koto. It would take a lot to. It would have. The stone would take my life? Question mm. mark? Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. Ta -ta uh, the, with the uba what do? Do you know what tense this is in? I can tell if you can tell. Like it seems like this wareru is a passive. Yep, it is passive. So it means life will be stolen. So this makes the subject and the object be the same in that. And this koto right here, we have toyu koto. Which is basically we're just defining something. So that's being used since we're here. Uh mado uh, mado seki ga ore o korosu te koto is a translation of inochi o ubawareru. So my life will be taken from me. You mean, well, you mean how added the English is not in here. Um, the magical mm. stone is going to kill me. Right. Say you koto. You mean to say the magical stone will kill me. Um, then is katate o poketo no naka ni Tsubari Omase. So, Okato Nakani. Very good. Omase. To put a hand inside of the pocket. Right. Put one hand inside the pocket. Irazu. Irazu. I don't know. I don't know. Ano mado seki o. Ori dashte. Grab, grab on, grab from a stone. Grab, I grab that stone. Put it out there and pull it out. Hi, yep. He takes out the magical stone. And so, I... I think this is a better, um, should I say it can be translated as like, um, Unconsciously, a good way of thinking about it. It has it. It has it. Unconsciously. Hi. I took out a magical stone. Te no hira ni no seta. Madoseki wa. The magical stone that. Te no hira ni no seta. So the hira is a part of the hand. And the madoseki has been nosetad into that area of the te. The madoseki wa fits. The madoseki that fits into the palm of the hand. Good guess. Nosetad is more like sitting in, like it's, it's in, kind of. So sitting it's in, in the palm of his hand. So it doesn't really have a fitting meaning, necessarily. It just kind of means that it's in it, basically. In it. 
in it. And that's so is yami no ka kake yami no kakera no yo ni kurogu uro kurokuro toste iru. Kakera is a verb of something, right? Kakura, sorry, kakera is a noun. You can tell because after kakera is no. No is the glue that allows nouns describe other things, such as yo. So we know that kakera is a noun. Yami no kakera. Kakera is a shard. A shard. Hi. A shard of shadow. Hi. No yo ni kuro kuro to shite iru. Kuro 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 is pulsating? Pulsing? Um, or pop? Kuro kuro is a sound effect for blackness. Blackness. So it's miyoni kuroguro, like the dark shard, like a piece of shadow shard. The darkness. Hi. The magical stone is dark, like a fragment of shadow. Osteru. Kite iru is to do and exist. Right. So it is being. Right. It's doing. Yes. A black. It is doing the black like. Yes. It is doing the black. So yeah, I don't think there's a really a way to translate this into English and not make it sound okay. weird. Or, or, so the mado. In a sense, the mado seki is is describing the madoseki as being Hi. such and such. Hi, such as being black. So in English, we can say roughly, it is, it looks like, it seems like. For the yo, correct. For the kuroguro, incorrect. Well, blackness is a, is a, it's doing an action. Shite. It is being black. And how does it do it? It do it in a guro 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 way. No. Well, yes. Um so yeah, it's it's doing something. It is doing kuro guro. So like tosuru can be the way in which you do something, but that is a weird way to translate it when you have sudu going on because sudu doesn't actually convey meaning on its own not like really sudu is a thing you add to things to mean that you are doing something that is not like it just means like you you do something right like um you might see like benkyo sudu for example right benkyo shiteru would mean i am studying but you're not saying i am doing the study could be a way you could directly translate that so you could say they are doing the black. The, that's not really how we would say it normally in English. Because it's because mm. it's it is modifying that that is correct gram grammarly, but it, it does sound odd in English. Because it, it just means that it's kuro guro, right? But this is a basically a sound effect, basically. So you can't just like end a sentence in a sound effect. That's not like really how that like, grammatical rule works. So if you want to describe it as that sound effect, you have to do tosuru in order for that sound effect to be describing an action. Because on its own, you can't it can't be by itself. Kind of like how benkyo, if you want to turn that into a verb, you have to add sudu to it. Hmm. Benkyo. Benkyo shiru. Hi. And in this case, they use iru as in it's a living object, right? So iru does it on its own is does convey living that is correct so if i said ishi ga iru that would insinuate living however that's not how iru works when it's acting as a ing when it's acting as ing this is basically a grammar form in itself 
And if you use ADU, that very much changes the meaning of the sentence, making this more passive. Make, it basically makes it into like a passive sentence, which is not really what they're saying here. It's not having blackness done to it. Um, uh, but instead, we're just saying it is black. It is currently, at this very specific moment in time, the magical stone is doing the blackness. It's being black. I see. Understand. Look at that. Next sentence. Mabataki. Oh. Shitara madoseki ga. Ukurende. Biote de mat mat motsuto. Tama. Sokoni kroi yami ga. Hirogata. So is mabataki o? Hi. Mabataki is um, blink. And as you can see, this is another one of those nouns that are being added with the sudo here to mean to be doing the blink. Mabataki o? Sitara. So if or when Shitara. we're blinking or we'll blink. When it blinks, then madoseki ga, the magical stone, ukurende. Now, ukurende is a verb in the in the um in the ten form. Hi, from fukuramu. Rande. Fukuramu. Hi. Fukuramu meaning fukuramu wa. Oh, you photo. What is Fukurama? Fukurama um, is a puff up, like a puffer fish. Puff, puff up. Kind of increase in size, the bulk up. Madoseki ga Fukurande. Magical stone, puff up. Hi. Biote de with both hands. Matsuto. Uh, not matsu. Mat as you can see, there's a little hand in the corner. Matsu. Hi, hi. Um, with both hand L. So no. So I I hold it with both hand and to. Hi. Afterward. Sokoni, that blackness, sokoni kuroi yamaga, yamiga, that, sh that black shadow. Sokoni, no, oh, right at that moment. The sh shadow, the dark shadow, hirogata, is expanded. Hi. So yami is very close to shadow, but literally it's just darkness. So it says darkness. there as in, in the palm of their hand, in the hands, because you have two of them holding stone. So there in that location, we have this black, black darkness and that black darkness is what um spreads out. So, so, cool. right, so in this case, the there. Sokoni is a place. Hi, it's always a place. To... Sonotoki is at that time. Yes, Sonotoki would be that time. So Soko is always a place. So no means you're going to add some kind of noun here to modify it. And so would be referring to some other previous ad item. But soko is that place um, either previously mentioned or that place close to whoever I'm talking to. In this context, it would be the last location mentioned, which would be um, ryote de. Right? De is a location okay. marker. Kind of, mm -hmm. so yeah. it's with in this context. So basically, this is the location they're talking about in my in between my hands. Basically, at that location, between. this happens. This happens. It's expanded. Hi. Then the next sentence. So no yami ga that shadow. Grundo. It's grun. Guessing it's a sound effect, and it's kunari. 
um, to this country for heaviness, Hi. followed by the katakana kunari or hiragana kunari. There's a verb here, nari meaning become. Hi. The continuous form of naru. So he, but how do I read this kanji? Is it moku? Nari? Or omoi? Omoku, hi. Omoku. Omoku nari. Becomes heavy. Hi. Grun, meaning. How is grun describing this verb? It basically means by a lot. It's like, boom, grun. Boom. Um, so remarkably is how they put it down there. Mm. Oh, this more mouth. And it's danuro no. Danuro no higa. The fire of the fireplace. Hi. Yurame. Yurame ite. That's the first verb. Follow by the second verb. Kieta. Kieta. It disappeared. Hi. What did it do before it disappeared? It yurame te. Flicker and then it disappeared. Yep, it flickered. Yura me ite. So Yura me me ite is from Yura meku. Oh, so this is there's no iru forming ite, but Hai. it's Yura meku. Hi. Change to the third form. G grammatically, uh, your first hypothesis doesn't make any sense. This because ite on its own could mean, you know, iru ite, but then we can't have yurame right here. That, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's a verb right here, as you could tell, um, but you can't have something touching that verb. Verbs do not like to touch things. You have to ha always have some kind of breather. Like right here we have ho, right here we have ga, and things like that. The ver verbs don't want to touch things. The only exception is sudu. Sudo sometimes is okay with touching things. Uh, in that case, though, it's making it into its like you know, noun thing. Um, but yeah, you're not gonna see te dropped like that. That'd be weird. You will see e dropped sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, but then you'd probably have two tes here, right? Like, yeah. So it just uh, that's that's like mm -hmm. just not possible to split it up that way grammatically because there's no um. I see. Yeah, it'd be missing information. Here's ku, ku, rameku. Hi. Flicker. Then it's kiet. Then the kieta, it disappear. Hi. The next sentence say, hayaku. No, toku, far away. Hi. Toku de, shu, shu jin, shu, and then jin, shu jin no, sakebi, koe ga. The, the voice that I would say Sarkebi is the shouting voice, right? Hi. The voice of a shout from the owner. Hi. From far away. Uh, and then it say gashi, meaning among other things. That that's a really good guess, but well. that's not what's going on here. You're not gonna have that butt particle ga with the and particle she. That'd be saying and but. Which is the same in English, you can't really have those two conjunctures right next to each other. So since we have this particle ga, we can assume this is actually not the conjunction ga, and that this she right here is suru. Sakebi go sakebi goi ga suru, which is now an and form. Hi. It's an and form. So it's do. Hi. Meaning it's doing the voice. So right. voice, voice was doing. done. It's in an active state. Hi. So it's going on and and second clause. Neburi ga different subject. Sue o tsukande. Neburi he sukande the 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 stick, the cane, the sue. Hi. Skama is so to grab. Tsukande means grab. Hi, hi, hi. So he sukamu, but here's in a tenth form. So he sukande, he grabs, and 
he bayaku modifying kachi agaru. Right. That must mean that tsubayaku is an adverb describing yes. the action of tachi agaru. Hai. He stand up. Hai. Tsubayaku he stand is swiftly. Swiftly. Hai. Grabs the cane and he stand up swiftly. After Perfect. The voice of the owner shouting out. Hi. And um and when we're talking about compound verbs, since like uh I thought maybe that's possible thing kind of confuse you. Iru is never used in compound verbs. It, you can't take iru as a building block and smash it with another verb. So like sakebi, for example, from sakebu was mashed together with koi. You can also, you know, mash two verbs together like sakebi and patsu be sakebi patsu. <laughs> I don't that's not a real word but that'd right. be like that grammar rule Stop that can't stand, work here right? yes that'd be shut stand <laughs> but um uh, you can't do that with idu. that's idu. what happened here with the tachi age it's Hai. two verbs here so it's yep. tachi and then and ageru, ageru is another up. verb yep ageru for up yep so that's true you can't combine verbs that way but idu doesn't have enough meaning on its own to be added into compound verbs like that Okay. But if it were to be the ing version of the iru, then it is doing so with the te form. It it could be doing. You can have ing and te form. Interestingly enough, normally that's really mostly just going to show in um slurring type of things. So you probably wouldn't or to be shite. and as well will happen. Um, isn't, isn't shite is the te form of suru, Mari? Yes, shite is the te form of suru. So doing shite iru. Yes. Shite iru. Doing. So this iru, the shite iru is an ing version. It's yes. a jur, right? Yeah, they are currently doing oh. blackness. Oh. It is right oh. at this oh. moment, oh. it is black. It's possible the magical stone wasn't black when he originally grabbed it, but right at this moment, it is super duper black and is doing that blackness mm -hmm. to the extent that it looks so like a I fragment wanted, of darkness. If I want to add an iru to a verb Hai. and make it a present thing, right? Yes. Like tabete, tabete iru. Hai. It has to be in the te form. Yes. Then I add the iru, meaning I'm doing it now. Yes. Nande that is that iru. grammar. I'm form. drinking. Hi. Or shitteru would be knowing, which we don't say that in English, we just say no. But that if you're currently in the no, you say shitteru. If something is currently occurring, hmm. you use iru to express that. Kind of think of iru as to exist right now. So if you want something to exist right now, it needs to be in te form. Okay. Um, so that means the sentence right here is not in present tense form. These are not currently occurring. They occurred at some point. <laughs> so he let out a voice and then the voice is no longer being let out and he stands up, but he's not currently in the act of standing up anymore. <laughs> so it just means the action occurred or will occur. Like it's, it's Mane, kind of, that, yeah. That agaru is a habitual form of the verb it's a dictionary form meaning either yes. it's habitually happening or it will happen at some point yes it's it is that form ru form it is tachiagaru so you you don't really say tachiagateru that's not because in japanese the cause and effect of things happening if you said it in teiru form that would insinuate that he's stuck in this uh up and downing time uh and that's not really what the sentence is trying to focus on and this is i guess you could say future tense here but uh if you were doing this in english you would have the sentence in past tense to be i got that supposed to be like he stood up mm -hmm. so literally if you're translating it would be like he will swiftly stand up but that's not really what they're conveying here um mm -hmm. It's just like he stood up. He just stand up. He stands up. 
I guess we say that in English. He stands mm -hmm. up. He stands up. Right. Rather than saying he's standing up, we say he mm -hmm. stands up. So we do the same grammar thing going here in, in English. Like he walks, he hikes versus he stands up can refer to a current moment as well. Grammar is weird. Uh, I'm not sure mm. what this grammar would be. <laughs> the man stands up I, I, and then does something. Stands up. Very weird to Rest think about. Me, he stands up. So, so. Uh, oh, yeah. Now we're going to our new vocabulary. Um, I'm sure you know this word. Do you know what solji is? Solji. Okay. The first character had a hand. Mm -hmm. Something to do with cleaning up. Hi, solji is off. the noun for clean. Solji. Mm, solji. Okay. Um, so I'll start with soul. What did it end with? E. Okay. Soji. Soji. Perfect. Um, so how would you put solji, which right now is a noun, into causative form? So we're going to first turn it into a verb, but then put it in causative form. Causative. So it's it has to have seru at the end. Hi. And we want it to be a verb, so it has to be suru, Hi. followed by changing it to, so it's sasaru. Hi. So Perfect. it's soji sasaru. Yep, soji sasaru. Nice. And what did it start with? It ended with ji? So. Hi, soji. Perfect. How would you put soji sasaru to make someone clean into all volitional form like let's make someone clean volitional so it's suru in the no to it, it it's causative but it's also in the volitional as well right so that ending ru become ro so it's soji sasero right so that is a really good guess that is actually imperative form that's it all. Um, if it was um, role volitional. long form, can be volitional form as well if you're saying that long, but that would be for u verbs. Saseru, all causative verbs so, are actually do verbs. You know how to put um do verbs into uh volitional form? Volitional form. Volitional of the ru ru become ru become yo. Hi. Soji sase yo. Hi. Soji sase yo. And if it's an uber, then it's, it's the all, it's the all sound, whatever that uber is. So, yes, yes, correct. Hi. When you get a second, let's mm. go read this blue page. All right, so it's ano tozo to. Benetto ni. That boy and Bennett. Soji o taseyo. Let's make them clean. Perfect. Let's make them. Let's make that boy and Bennett clean. Exactly. So yeah, this, this is used here. when you make a plan right here. Yep, neat. Because that's who you're making to do the job. I. I'm going to make Bennett and that boy clean. Mm. They um, are I'm the target. So, so. I'm sure you know what ashita means. What is it? Ashita. Tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow. Perfect. Ashita. What is tomorrow? Yep. Ashita. Hi. Now let's go read this sentence. Ashita no asa. Tomorrow's morning. Hi. Yasuragi. Hey. Hi. The quiet. The quiet. What? Te. You mentioned was. A house? Yes. A dwelling? It is. Te is something that goes at the end of some kind of like mansion like building. Te. 
So you're not, it's not something you're going to normally see in real life that much. Uh, but uh, if you read novels, you'll probably see it a lot. Or if you go to historical sites, I think it probably pops up in some of the historical location names. Well, let's get back. Yeah, let's return. Let's, let's get back right. to the quiet mansions. Right. When should they do that? Tomorrow morning. So, so Tomorrow perfect. Morning. Can you read this word for me? Um, this here is hiki harao. Hi. So hiki harao is to move out, to vacate from some kind of location. Hiki harao. Uh, in this case, it's like to leave your inn. Um, can you read this for me? So here we have the U verb right. turning into an O for the yep. volitional. So let's let's move out. Let's vacate. Hi. We'll vacate um the the room of the of the dining place. Hi, hi, hi. The heya of the shokudo. Tomorrow's morning. Perfect. Asta no asta. Hi. Any idea how to read this word? This one is asa ichiba. Hi. That means first thing in the first, morning. First thing in the morning. Hi. Now we get to go read our sentence from the book. Asta no asa ichiba ni. At the first thing in the morning, shokudo no heya o hiki harai. We vacate the inn, the room of the dining place. And then, ano toko, ah, mm, ano kozo to beneto ni. Sojio Saseyo will make the net and the boy and that boy clean. Perfect. And this is all in future tense. So he's writing this in his diary. So he's like, okay, so tomorrow morning, first thing I'm going to do, leave the inn. And then I'm going to make the kids uh, clean up. Contextually, he's going to make the kids clean up Yasuragi Te, right? Because that's the, the place he says needs a lot of sagyo, needs a lot of work. Mm. Um, right now, it is our halfway point. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'll see you in two seconds.